What the brap is up everybody? It's Cody with Dirt Nap Dirt Bike Adventure Channel bringing you a quick little vlog on the 701 Husqvarna. Last week we put out a video about meeting Kim Collins from 40 times around in the Idaho BDR. I just wanted to give you a little backstory because I feel like I missed it in the first video and this video series is just not complete without it. So without further ado, we'll jump right into heaven and hell adventure. Stay tuned baby! So previously this year I met Tim Collins and Bob down in the Valley of Gods in Utah to do a little ride. Shortly after that Tim mentioned me meeting him up in Idaho to do the Idaho BDR. Okay so mountains are my favorite place to ride that is why I ride dirt bikes that is how I fell in love with riding dirt bikes with my favorite youtuber and good friend Tim Collins I said yes without even thinking about it and that's where trouble began soon after saying yes i realized i hadn't had a lot of jobs lately so i had very limited funds i also realized i didn't have a street legal bike this was a huge problem in fact it was a mission killer no idaho bdr for me <laughs> you've heard the expression you need to go through hell to get to heaven Well, I quickly realized I could solve problem number one. I had a John Wick gun. That was my favorite gun. And there's a local pawn shop. So I took it down and decided that this adventure was worth losing my favorite gun. So bye bye, my favorite gun. Problem one, solved. Problem number two, I needed some help with. As I was talking with my friend Johnny Mack, he mentioned that he had the 701. Okay, reverse engineer here. You've done it. Once. Yep. 24, remember that much? Yeah. <gasps> you didn't hang the wrench up, John. Oh, well, that's it up. <laughs> that he had had a previous friend borrow, and all we needed to do was pick it up. I humbly thanked him, and we went to pick it up. You think problem solved, right? Haha, <laughs> joke's on you. Long story short, Johnny put me to work on the bike. We got it up and running, and he let me take it. Problem two solved. Thank you, Johnny Matt. Make it hard to get this. I'll show you. Bite down! What? No bites and no people were harmed, so it's okay. Yeah, I knew your camera was on, that's why I did it. It's all for the views. Never lend your bike to this man. Now we ride out. That can never happen until the video comes out. <laughs> trying to get to a spot where I could get off the bike ahead of Tim so that I could film him coming around a corner. About the time I got off my bike I saw some young kids in a Jeep coming around a corner and my first thought was oh Tim is coming up that. He has no idea they're coming. I watched the rear wheel go straight up and over 
and I swear to you that I saw Tim looking right at me there was a small ditch to the left hand side where snow had been running off and I believe Tim fell into that ditch if you ask Tim I'm sure he'll tell you he scurried into the ditch but that depression is the only thing that stopped that 800 pound BMW 1200 GS fully loaded from smashing and pummeling Tim right into the ground. not that bad considering what you went through that's uh yeah 